What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Flora Sky. We are this tree. Yep. No, we're actually behind the tree. LOL. So anyway, uh, welcome back to Pokemon Flora Sky. Today, we're going to be continuing on right where we left off last episode in the middle of this water route where I have no idea what it is we're doing. But like I said, still being recorded on uh, the same day as the other ones. It is actually getting pretty close to when I have to leave. My flight leaves around 3 a.m. I know that this has been the same topic for the past seven videos, so after this I think I'll just uh, chill it out and talk about some other things that are apparently interesting or things. Uh, so anyway, what was I even doing? I, I totally forgot. Um, it, it's in about an hour or so I'm actually going to be leaving. I've already got everything packed. I just got to get these two last videos recorded. Um, actually, yeah, two because I'm going to do videos up until Friday, which is when PAX actually starts. And then after that, I don't think I'll have much time to actually upload, so on Saturday and Sunday, um, you guys will probably not be seeing any videos, so I apologize. Maybe some vlogs or something on the crew. Um, so just note, uh, just really quick, because I know this is going to be probably Wednesday's video, or actually Thursday by this point. Um, just note that uh, we're, we're probably going to be uploading a couple of videos to the crew channel while we're at PAX, maybe some vlogs or something, so if you still haven't checked out the crew... Um, you must live under a rock first of all, because I mentioned it a couple of times already, but if you actually haven't heard of it, uh, for any other reason other than not living under a rock or something, um, then definitely do, because we're probably going to be uploading a couple of vlog type videos or other kinds of stuff at PAX, so go and check that out if you haven't already for the 15th billion time, and now I will proceed to never talk about the crew ever again. Um, I believe we've actually... What is it? We've done most of the stuff up here, so I don't think there's that much else to do. I just fought like two trainers. What is this? There's there's just a bunch of rock climbable stuff, which we don't have rock climb, and I don't think we'll be getting it for another while, so uh yeah, we're just gonna go up here. I don't I don't think there's actually nope. There doesn't seem to be an exit to this area. Oh wait, never mind. I spoke way too soon. If seawater gets up your nose, doesn't it feel ter it actually does feel pretty terrible. You are you're actually saying something insightful there. That has happened to me so many times, and it is really, really bad. Um, especially with seawater, obviously, because it's seawater, but it actually hurts pretty bad as well with, like, highly intoxicated Clorox water at, like, a pool or something. It's it, They're both pretty bad, but in general, seawater is way worse, so, yeah. You actually, you're onto something there, girl. You are definitely onto Karen dying, or stuff. So now we gotta deal with this Tentacruel somehow, uh, with Karen being dead, of course. At least now we don't have annoying... <laughs> The, the sound that the um, that the the thing makes when you're whatever low on HP that, that was a pretty annoying sound. I hope that Cassiopeia actually doesn't get into red HP because that would be pretty terrible. Uh, so anyway, we're just gonna crunch and bite these things, or actually crunch and headbutt to be more technical about it. And there we go. Why is there? Wow, there was just a max revive like clinging onto that rock there. My head kind of hurts. It might be the fact that I'm recording right now, and I, I think I'm a little bit nervous, honestly. I've already spoke about this in the Movlog, so I'm not gonna repeat it, but I, th I guess I'm just a little bit nervous to meet everyone, really, and I'm having a little bit of a rough time really understanding that uh, in just a couple of hours, well, actually not a couple, it's gonna be like 12 hours, wow, can't believe I'm gonna have that long of a flight, but uh, in that time period, I'm gonna be meeting everybody that I've basically spoke to on the internet for a couple of months now. Actually, it's been probably longer than that, but the crew, basically, for a couple of months, which uh, is very strange, because they're probably going to rape me and do anal probing, but uh, I talk about Anissa's way too often, so let's not talk about those and instead talk about uh, this lady and uh, her son, who I can't even talk to. Okay, what? Really? He's being a smartass? Yes, town? That is pretty good. That is, that is an answer I would give. Where do you come from? Yes. Yes, that is the answer. That's pretty awesome. A sky Pokemon! What happens if you answer no? Did you say no? No town? That doesn't make any sense. You have to come from somewhere. Oh wait! You're not going to say that you were... I don't know how the bottom of the sea is no, but uh, apparently we made it to a new town, so that is pretty awesome. Uh, we got a Pokedex here, or whatever you want to say, girl. I don't really care. Um... I also just remembered that through Charpos Island, we can actually get back to the mainland because there's like a tunnel that leads back there, so... Uh, this town is obviously not like Cinnabar Island at all. There's, uh... There's this house here, there's a fat man. Usually he teaches strength, doesn't he? Oh no, he's a move tutor. That's great. 
he uh, he teaches moves to your Pokemon. So he does it for a heart scale. If you gotta want to learn a move, then you gotta give him a heart scale. But we don't have any heart scales, so I guess Osipak Town here is pretty useless to us right now. These things are they're like straight up ripped from uh, Cinnabar Island, aren't they? Or sorry, um, Mahogany Town. Why was well, did I actually say Cinnabar the other time? I totally meant Mahogany, the one from. Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, more specifically in this game, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, because the graphics are from there, so. Anyway, um, I actually didn't even heal up, so I'm probably gonna go back and do that now. Run away from this Meryl, and hopefully this egg will hatch soon, because I've been just walking around for like a half hour. You know what? Just because I'm an awesome guy, we're just gonna, gonna do a little hopping, hopping around here. Um, do I actually even, do I have the right bike? What the heck? I guess you can't do it in the sand for some reason. That's weird. Actually, now that I think about it, I was just pressing the wrong button. I'm dumb. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a couple of hops here. We're gonna hop all the way to the edge. Oh god, how are we gonna get past, uh, these obstacles over here? We just gotta keep on, keep on hopping our bike, and hop down here. There we go. Keep hopping our bike past all these obstacles. It's pretty hard to do sometimes, but I know that you can pull it off, and now we do a wheelie all the way to the edge, and there we go. I don't know why I just did that, I just wasted, I was trying to waste a bunch of steps, but in the end it didn't really waste that many, because each one of those little hops counts as one step, I guess. Uh, so anyway, spring another Max Repel here, and we got double ginger battle all the way across the sky. That's going to be pretty interesting to, to do. Oh my gosh, they are both wearing them hot bikinis, look at those pixel boobies. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Pixel boobs. QSA. QQ more. What is a QSA? I think I meant to make it say like P PSA? Public public assessment? What is that? Well, how do you... Oh god, I can't even... Um... Okay, yeah, PSA. Public service announcement. I was thinking what the abbreviation for that was, but for some reason I couldn't get it through my head. Through my thick-brained head. Because I do have a thick brain because I'm so smart. I am, I am indeed bragging about being smart, and that guy's bragging about how slanty his eyes are. You'll see, once I beat his Corsola and also his Clam Pearl, you will indeed see his eyes and how squinty they are. Look at that! Look at those eyes! It's like, it's like three pixels wide. That's like at least three pixels right there. So, I'm actually going to take off Karen from the first position in the party, because she's already level 40. I didn't even realize how high level Karen was. And we're going to put up Padsy, because I think he still has Absorb. Um, so that could maybe be beneficial against a couple of these guys, even though Absorb really, really sucks, and we really need a better Grass-type move, but, you know what, we don't have one right now, so, what can I do? There goes Louise, the Pokemon trainer. It's not Louis, it's Louise, I know it's Espanol. Luis? Luis? Luis, ven acá! Ven acá, Luis! Quiero uno burrito, por favor! Why am I so stereotypical about everything? Too much rucka rucka ah re in my brain. And then there's squirrels in my pants too, but, you know, that's that's a whole different problem. Anyway, uh, it is Luis when it's spelled L-U-I-S, not Louis, because Louis is, is with an O in it. Unless you want it to be pronounced Louis, in which case, I have nothing to say to you. You, you can pronounce your name however you want. You might think that my name is Munching Orange, but you never know because I made up the name, so I could technically be... Um, actually, it doesn't really work with my name. I'm sorry, I, I used a bad example, but... You know what, I could technically be Moonchang... Moonchang U-Range. You don't, you don't know that. You don't know me, you're not God. Blah, blah, copper cab. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna take out this, um... Linoon and also this Herder... Herder Derp. I actually just realized it has its, uh, English name for once, because all of them apparently usually have their Japanese names, at least these Pokemons. Oh no, he knocked off my leftovers. That's not good. I stole this fair and square, dude. Oh man, I ran out of PP, so I guess we got a Pew Pew into Wukong and Mach Punch. See you later. See you later, Miles, the the Niles River. It's not Lyles, it's... Oh! Oh, here we go! Yes! The egg is hatching into a scrambled piece of... Really? A horsey? That's it? We, we could have caught a horsey like in the... I saw a wild horsey! Wow, that is really, really demotivating. That is like a boner kill. Sorry for the lack of better words, but seriously, what the heck? Alright, so apparently we need Cut to go up there, and this horsey's useless. I hope her horsey can at least learn Cut. I probably can't, because it's that useless, or Air Cut, or whatever. See, look at that. Useless piece of poop. 
Can't even learn air cutter, so I can't even cut that tree. For fishermen, equipment is the key, but for trainers, the key ingredients are Pokemon and heart, of course. So which one is he? Is he a fisherman or... Dwayne Wade? I don't know. Maybe he's a professional football player and, and he, he fumbled the ball. Oh no, he knocked off my item too, but you know what? You're dead. Come to think of it, fishing is a battle between a fisherman and a Pokemon. Wow. Not unless it's real life fishing with Tiger Woods, in which case it would just be between Tiger Woods and his wife's golf club or something. Alright, so we did that stuff and now I have no idea where to go once again, but it seems like everywhere is a dead end but over here, so let's swim this way. Why not? Actually, we're not swimming, we're actually surfing. And here we are in Puel City because everybody loves Puel City. It is the best city that there is. Actually, now that we got that useless piece of horsey out of our way, uh, we can actually go back to where the water was. Where where was the water, 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 water? Is it over here? Oh, here we go. Alright, so we can go back to the place where Cut was. I got Servant back on the team because that horsey was freaking useless so we're gonna head back over here hopefully I can pull this off uh uh no I don't want to surf I want to do this yeah there we go all right so let's cut down this tree with servants man powers and we're gonna fight a couple more trainers apparently oh there's a two double battles that we can do so let's do this one first because little girls are just the best and they give the best um hugs yes that is definitely what I meant to say can't believe I didn't heal up I totally forgot uh, so I guess we gotta go for Surf and Thunder Punch that Beautifly, because it's gonna die. Unless, uh, of course, Padsy dies first, in which that would not be very good, but it already happened, so I can't really help it. Shockwave! And there we go. Karen is now level 41. <laughs> so much for not leveling up Karen anymore. Great. Karen's now our highest level Pokemon. Just when I thought Ampharos was gonna be useless. Great stuff. Here we got a nest ball. That is apparently the uh, result of our endeavors to use cut over here. But we do have another battle, so yes, I will play with your delightful, pretty little Pokemon, and also you. Whatever you said, I don't really care. After we beat these people, I honestly have no idea where we're supposed to go. Once again, it seems to be a problem in this Pokemon hack. Sense of direction. Um, I know that Scott told us to go to the place in Charpos Island, but I honestly don't care enough. I don't think. Um, but there we go, we beat those two, so I'm probably gonna head to Charpos Island again, and we're probably gonna check that out, just because he told us to, so maybe that's where we're supposed to go, and, uh, maybe there's some other stuff in the Festa Zone, who really knows, it's a giant theme park, so there's probably gotta be some other stuff, let's just pick up all these berries here, because they're berries, and berries are berries and cream, uh, ass bear berries, and also a bunch of other berries that are not ass related, or pears, ass pears, yep, that is the way we go here, uh, Watch Hog. I haven't seen one of you ever. And there we go. So I'm gonna head back to Charpos Island very far away in the ocean blue. Except apparently there's a trainer battle that I haven't done before. I don't know why, but it's here. It's definitely here. I have no idea why um, I didn't do this battle before, but uh, apparently I didn't. So let's do it again. And I just realized this thing has Volt Absorb, so we're just giving it back HP. This is great. I gotta switch out to clap here. Oh god, don't want a gun. Me, I just voice cracked very terribly. So I was giving that thing back HP that whole time, that's great. And now of course is when we need Karen back, so we gotta bring out the Karen. Baron with the... with the Thunder Punch. There we go. Yeah, I have no idea where I am, but apparently I haven't done that battle before. Maybe I actually haven't been over here. Have I? Uh, I don't think I have. I may have come from the south, or the, yeah, to the south of me now. Well, technically I was going to the north, but, um, no, I definitely came from over here. I guess there was just a battle that I missed out on, or maybe they were rematching me. I don't really know. Uh, I really don't know. But maybe we just didn't battle the trainers on this route for some reason. Did I battle you? I don't think so, because there's a Pokeball there. Wow, for some reason I didn't battle any of the Pokemon here. I have no idea why, but... Uh, let's just hopefully kill this guy. Come on. No. Okay. Clap. Maybe you can do it. Yep. Good job, Clap. Uh, Dragon Breath is maybe gonna... Wow. Um, this is not going as planned. Definitely. I was hoping to freeze you by now, or paralyze you, or whatever. Crunch. Maybe finish it off. Yep. There we go. Alright, let's pick up this item over here. It's a protein! I'm totally not selling that. I don't ever sell anything that I get in random places. Uh, so, 
let's surf again and hopefully figure out where it is that we're going because I once again have no clue. I came from Osipak City, but I, I don't seem to remember which direction exactly from. I guess, you know what? I just figured out, I think. Um, I must have come from up here. Yeah, that's definitely it, actually. Actually, wait. Okay, so there's three places. There's this one, and then there's this middle one, which I assume I haven't explored yet. So let's explore this one real quick. Yeah, I don't think I've been here. Nope. So there's three different ones. That's great. I'll look at your chiseled abs and call it cut. Or maybe I'll call it air cutter, because that's what it is in this game, dummy. There's no cut, it's air cutter. You're dumb. You don't even know your own game that you're in. So yeah, there's apparently three routes that we can take. Just a couple of extra trainers so that Karen can get even more overleveled. Great stuff right here. I could actually use, um, oh look, another Pelistorm. I love Pelistorm, it's my favorite Pokemon. Uh, let's actually go for this one. Wow, never mind. Alright, just gotta go for Karen again. Because Karen is the best Pokemon after all. And there we go. We beat another guy. So that is it for this episode. Next time I'll make it back to some town and we're gonna figure out where to go. Goodbye.